Hey, good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. So, first things first. If you do not have your crypto off the exchanges, you need to go do that, like, as soon as possible. There's still a bunch of issues going on. Um, don't be one of those guys that loses your crypto investment because you didn't spend, like, 60 or $120 on a Ledger Nano S or an X. Um... There's links in the description below, so go pick one up. If you don't have one already, make sure you get your crypto off the exchanges. And now, what a weekend for crypto. That was awesome. I was having a party Friday night. I think it was Friday night. Um, Bitcoin crossed 10,000. XRP very briefly touched 51 cents. Uh, that was kind of right before a big Bitcoin sell-off, I believe. So uh, we got there very, very briefly. But since then, I mean, the market cap right now is $335 billion. Uh, Bitcoin is like 11,003-something. Like it's doing really well. And XRP right now is like trading at like 46 and a half cents. And we've been kind of right around that area the last few days. Touching 50 a couple times, but back down. I mean, the low has been right around 46. So I've been trading that 46 to 50 cent range for about four days now, um, which is great. It's still a big improvement over where we were at even a couple weeks ago. So don't get too concerned about the little dips and little sell-offs. You're going to have corrections as the market goes up if we just skyrocket with no correction on the way up it just means a bigger correction when it happens so it'd be much more catastrophic to go from they just like bitcoin shot up to twenty thousand and then drop down to 12 uh that's a lot more catastrophic than going to 11 back down to 10 and a half and then back up to now 11,300 so we're making we're moving in the right direction it's a good day it was a great weekend um I did see something very interesting on Twitter this weekend, and obviously I'm not a like XRP, like how that whole like uh, X Rapid works. I'm not an expert in that, but what I did see was kind of interesting. It's kind of the first time I've ever had a question about how the XRP price is going up. We always gonna say we always say, especially me that the XRP price will go up when there's utility. But Dave Schwartz from Ripple, like if you, have, if you haven't followed him on Twitter, it's Joel Katz, J-O-E-L-K-A-T-Z. Um, he was talking about there's no net supply or demand increase or decrease through an X Rapid transaction. So basically, business A would buy it off an exchange, send it to business B who takes it off the exchange. So the supply of XRP doesn't change through that transaction and the demand doesn't change either. So basically he was saying X Rapid transactions don't affect the price of XRP. And I thought that was kind of the whole point of of uh, X Rapid was to bring a price increase to stabilize it at a higher price point where there's no real fluctuations that you can like make or lose money during those uh, three second transactions. So I've been a little confused about that, trying to think about it. Um, on the plus side, for Ripple selling X Rapid, it makes a lot of sense because they can kind of. It's easier for them to guarantee that there won't be a price change during a transaction because no matter how much you're transacting, it won't affect the price, which is good because that means it'll get utilized more often. The downside is if we're moving trillions of dollars in XRP every year, it won't affect the price somehow. And my small brain can't figure that out. If you're moving trillions of dollars of XRP back and forth, I don't understand how that doesn't increase the price. The only thing I can think of 
is that maybe instead of buying off the exchanges, these companies are just gonna buy and hold their own XRP and they'll just transact the XRP between themselves instead of buying off an exchange to transfer it to another exchange to get transferred off. So if that's the case, that totally changes how the market works right now because right now everyone buying any crypto is basically just speculating. They're just buying and hoping the price increases. But what if these institutions are buying XRP and just holding it, not caring what the price is because they are just using it for transactions? So that for speculators, that has to drive the price up because you just don't have, you don't have a, like whatever, or not like 42 billion, you don't have 42 billion XRP even on the market. It's being held in accounts just for transactions are being moved across like these corridors. So I think when these companies are coming in, if they are holding XRP for their like day-to-day -day business, I think that in itself is going to skyrocket the price because even if you had a hundred billion, if all of the XRP was available on the market, a lot of that, a lot of that is going to be held by institutions and being used for these corridor transactions and the cross-border payments. So I think that's where we'll end up. And I could be totally off base. If I am, please uh, get in the comments and correct me. But as far as I understand, that's how it will drive the price up. It's not necessarily the actual utility. It's the utility of XRP being so efficient that the companies just hold it and use it for their transfers, which decreases the available supply, which increases the price. Now what that price ends up being, who knows, the crypto market is so, it's like impossible to predict the crypto market, honestly. No one thought Bitcoin was gonna be 20,000. Bitcoin used to be 50 cents. 50 cents, you see the same price as XRP. And then people say that XRP is impossible to hit $100 or it's impossible to hit like 589 or 1,000, like all that's impossible. But a few years ago, if you told anyone that Bitcoin was gonna hit $20,000, they would have told you that that's impossible. So anything is possible in this market but it's also anything's possible either direction. I don't think it can only go up. I know some of these coins are going to go down, possibly disappear. So when you're investing, just make sure you're doing your own research. Have a coin that has some kind of utility and a purpose, not just a coin that someone made up for no other reason than to make it up. And they'll probably shill it pump it and then dump it and you'll never really hear that coin again so that's all i got for you guys today um i hope you had a great weekend if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel i'm getting real close to 100 and i know that's not a lot but it's a big step for me so if you guys could please subscribe uh, i'll keep coming out with some crypto stuff and yeah i mean it's just kind of fun for me so i hope you guys enjoy it if you don't subscribe anyway and just leave me some nasty comments and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.